So let's talk about heels here, uh, mm. 9 p.m. Eastern on Stars, um, and uh, a, a, a neat story about a father who bequeaths uh, a legacy to two kids, and there's a fight over it. And uh, I'll give you the floor on what uh, what you love about this show, Stephen. Well, and wrestling. I I grew up I, I grew up in my my passion before football or baseball before the Rams or the Blue Jays or the Raptors. It, it was it was Macho Man Randy Savage and Kurt Henning and Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper. I grew up a huge wrestling fan, pro wrestling fan, and you know there's the WWE and there's AEW, but uh, what people don't see, uh, you know, if you're a baseball fan, like, you know, the, the, the Buffalo Bisons are the Jays AAA team. And, um, you know, there are AAA ranks for pro wrestling, like the Duffy Wrestling League. So we set this in Duffy, Georgia. And it's just about a small town league and a small town community that doesn't have, so it's based in Georgia. And I have a line where I say, you know, we, we, you know, we, we don't have the Bulldogs. We don't have the Hawks. We don't have the Braves. Uh, you know, we don't have the Falcons. What we got is the Duffy Wrestling League. So everyone gets together every weekend, and they go out to the Duffy Dome, and it's a family drama that's set against the backdrop of pro wrestling. And um, you know, and 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 if you need a if you need a bigger hook, uh, we have quite possibly one of the scariest defensive linemen in NFL history, James Harrison. James Harrison. Uh, just, just making a wonderful turn as a character named Apocalypse, uh, <laughs> <laughs> aptly named on our show. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Sunday night on Stars. It's a bunch of different ways to watch it. But, um, yeah, if, if, if you're interested, uh, you can find it. Well, of course, it's on Stars. And um, yeah. that was my next question is what's Harrison, what's James Harrison like on the set? Steven. You know what? He threw him, I'll tell you what. It, we can make all the jokes about you know <laughs> me being terrified of him because I am for a good reason. <laughs> uh, but he couldn't be couldn't be a sweeter guy. And he he threw himself into he threw himself into acting uh, and and worked at it the way that I'm sure that he had to work as as someone who wasn't even drafted and spent you know five six years toiling around NFL Europe before he finally got his chance with the Steelers. He. He he does a really good job. He plays a plays a character that um, is in recovery uh, from alcoholism, and so he's got his funny moments, and he's got his he's got his his moments where we use the physical gifts that 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 James brings to the table. But at the same time, it's in the quieter moments, like when he opens episode six with uh, with a, with a speech leading an AA meeting, and he just he knocks it out of the park. Uh, he he's really 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 talented. Well, I mean, and it would have been easy. It, it, Sorry, go ahead. No, he must be really talented, Stephen, yeah. because the showrunner of the program and the EP is Mike O'Malley, who could not be more of a diehard Patriot fan and probably, despite Harrison joining the team later in his career, couldn't have more personal reasons for not wanting Harrison around. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. You know, I mean, so... I mean, listen, there's a, there's, a character, there's, a character, there's a character on the show uh, that uh, played by Trey Tucker... Uh, who does it called Bobby Penn, who does a, who does a wonderful job, but it was, it was real, real close to being Rob Gronkowski. So is that right? So, yeah. So yeah. Mike, uh, Mike told the, Mike told the story on the Bill Simmons podcast where they, they went to his house. He read the parts. He was, he was ready. And uh, I think at the time he actually made the decision to go with the WWE before uh, before uh, before Tommy called him up and said it's time to it's it's, it's time to <laughs> it's time, it's time to come to back put the trunks down and, yeah. and put the helmet on Gronk. Yeah, I was about to say just just trying to figure out when you shot this and when when casting would take place. It would probably have to be right around Gronk saying I'm going to come back and play football, which obviously has yeah, worked out. Well, I yeah originally uh, so I was cast in August of 2019 and then they started to fill it out. We were supposed to go to camera in April of 2020 well, that's that. and then obviously that <clears throat> that got delayed but th that was that was right around the time and then I think sort of it was like April May of 2020 it was, it was during the during the beginning months of the pandemic that that Gronk decided to come back hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here